Okay, so today we wanted to talk to you guys about uh, how we got our free high tunnel, how we qualified for the NRCS grant. So, um, yeah, it was a couple years ago. I remember I was watching Daniel Arms channel, yep. Arms Family Homestead. They have a YouTube channel. Go check them out if you haven't checked them out yet. She's like, hey Josh, hey Josh, call him. That's yeah, I, did I say that? <laughs> Uh, he called him. He called up uh, uh, Dan Arms, and Dan was wonderful and was willing to talk to him. And um, I remember watching that YouTube uh, channel though, and watching them and being. And he was talking about how he went through the process of qualifying for the NRCS program. The intention of the high, of of the NRCS program is that 75 to 80 percent of the total cost of the, of the package of the practice is is covered. Now. That's with some leniency for, for going out and resourcing material yourself or assembling something yourself or constructing yourself. So the, the intention is that you either put the sweat equity in. Which is what we've done. Which is what you do. Or that you just pay someone to come do it, which then at that point in time, you would, might be shelling out money for someone to construct that or to right. install that, right? But instead of spending your own money, you know, to buy an entire huge, you know, uh, high tunnel, which would have cost like... 11 12 grand or whatever this is our specific one is 96 long by 30 wide by 14 feet tall and it's a gothic so it's got a better uh, resistance to snow by shutting off the snow here guys i'm just gonna do this for a second and we're listening to josh you see it back, back there? Over there in the corner so it's starting to go up there it's starting to go up today we got three trusses up and all of the foundation which i think all of the hard work um i don't mean it that it's way but like sure. the prep work takes a lot of time and uh and that was done today. <laughs> so a lot of sweat equity. But. So it's you. So our project is going to be roughly twelve thousand dollars worth of a project, and we're going to be reimbursed with combination of all the different practices and money we've saved on different things and other projects. We're probably going to be able to for. offset all of the twelve thousand dollar high tunnel project for just over ten thousand dollars of recoup money. It's more than maybe a little too. bit more maybe a thousand so it's gonna be about a thousand, about a thousand out, of out of pocket so the first step was to uh, locate and talk to our local extension everyone has a NRCS or a, I think it's technically USDA but it's an NRCS extension uh, they do the conservation and uh, a lot of people know the CRP program which is the uh, you critical area planting and crop planting that you you forego planting in your field and you plant seed and you get money for doing that. It's a environmental thing that they, want, that they do. So NRCS uh, with the high tunnel portion of the grant is their intention is that you plant directly in the ground. Which is what you're supposed to do with a high tunnel, right? Versus a greenhouse. Isn't that like Correct. the difference? I've had people ask me what the difference is and I think that's the main difference. Yeah, high, high tunnels are typically heated with the solar, like you know, with the sun and all that good stuff. Whereas the greenhouses can use alternate heat sources to help maintain heat throughout the year, which the high tunnel's not as robust to maintain it's so heat. big. Yeah. So anyway, you find your local extension. Extension. Yep. You called them. I called them and I set up a meeting and then they went over all the qualifications. And something I learned is that if you kind of bundle multiple practices as they call it together, instead of just saying I just want the high tunnel uh, you can fluff up your, um, basically your application and make them feel like you're contributing more than just getting the high tunnel. So we put in to get uh, bluebird houses on our property. Which are up. Bat houses on our property. Which are set up. Wood ducks because we have the creek out back so we could, we could do wood duck houses and those are done. And then we have the last practice we had to do besides the high tunnel here to finish it up is uh, basically a wind break or a, a shelter break that we have to plan out back to help reduce the north winds That's like, on the property. That's uh, like bushes, trees yeah, and bushes. Trees and bushes. Greens, yeah, it's trees and bushes. It's right? making a, a line of them. Uh, we, we, we're what gonna... kind of bushes are we allowed to use? Can, can I plant lilac bushes? No. <laughs> There's, they have Why? A, they, they are very specific. They are, I know, they are, they are specific. really specific. So they have specific Which build plans. Fun. They have specific um, specs that you have to meet. Um, so that was part of the, um, you know, kind of tailing into that, that was part of the process of doing research on finding who's got the high tunnel that meets the requirements, uh, pricing them out, trying to get the biggest bang for your buck, 
um, and then you actually are reimbursed uh, from the grant based on the square footage for the high tunnel that we spent or the um, and then there's a maximum allowable square foot. So we we definitely maximized our square footage. We, we took are, the biggest one that we could maybe a little bit qualify bigger. for. Yeah. And with all of these things that you qualify for in the program, you front the money. Josh kind of he talked about reimbursement. Right. You front the money. So for example, they give you, they tell you up front, once you fill out the paperwork and you It's a contract. You're in a government. You're, you're contract. in a contract yeah. with them and they tell you, okay, this is what you need to do. These are the dimensions of the let's say the the bluebird house or yeah. the bad house. Yeah. They give you the dimensions. And you can either buy those things pre-made, which is gonna spend all of your money that you qualified some. for, yeah. and then some. You might even have some out of your pocket. Or you can be resourceful. You can go buy those materials yourself, build them yourself, and then you know do it for a third or half of the cost of okay. what it would be to buy it new. And then you get, but they are gonna give you a certain amount of money no matter what, whether you spend all of it and then some, or whether you spend some of it. They're, let's say they're gonna give you $600 to cover the cost of duck houses. Duck houses. Well, if you only spent three hundred dollars in materials and you did it yourself, you get to put it towards another put project. Put it towards another ideally. project, yeah. which it, High Tunnel is going to yeah. have some out-of-pocket expenses, even though it was free to us. So yeah, you front the money when you qualify for the program. Let's, like I said, you go to the store, you buy the materials, you front the money, or have it shipped in. Have it shipped in. So we we fronted the money for the High Tunnel. And once we follow certain protocol and have it set up, have stuff planted in it, which we're doing quickly, mm -hmm. um, then we get some. Uh, your person that you talk to, what do you call it? your? It's my NRCS contact. Contact. Or, or your, they're, they're a rep, basically. <laughs> Comes out, rep. takes a look. Actually, they're very efficient at the process. They're very quick to respond. Um, will come. They will come out. They will give you the check of approval and very quickly they reimburse you because that money is already set aside for you. It's already in account in an account waiting for you because you have already qualified the agreement is already made. Because of weather and projects we actually had to extend our contract. Yeah. So we were in a year we had a deadline to get certain things done and they've been they've been working with us great to extend a couple things. I've I've definitely heard from different people that it regionally can be different um, you, you know, you're working with different people, so different people are responsive in different ways. And isn't there certain, uh, I might be making this up, certain percentages that they do from cer certain regions of who they qualify? Am I making that Yeah, up? each region has a, basically a basket that they get to um, disseminate to their local farmers. Um, and it, you don't necessarily have to even be a farmer per se. Because um, we're not, we're homesteaders. I don't think you have to have farm, I mean, uh, Daniel Arms uh, was big on this is where he, he knew some people that th it's, as long as you have the space for it, you can qualify for it. So it's worth giving it a shot and putting it for is, is the point. It, it's not like, uh, oh, we only have three acres instead of 20 acres, so we shouldn't consider. Or we, we only have one acre. Well, if you have an envelope that you can fit that on one acre, you, and you can do a smaller one. Yeah, you don't, you don't have, have to, to do, do 96 this size. by 30, right? Yeah, you don't have to do this size. But we, we talked it over and we're like, okay, if we're going for it, it was the maximum reimbursement. Might as amount. well yeah. go for it, you know, get the largest one that we could because we only get this one time. But it, you know, with with that being said, though, there it is a government contract. You're in contract with them. Um, there's a certain time period for different practices that you have to maintain things. Um, so I don't want to. I don't want to make it sound like it's. Yes, you get a free high tunnel or a, re a greatly reduced high tunnel and different things. Um, but, but you there can't is just like use it to, to store it. your boat in it, you right. know. Yeah, <laughs> like no, you, no. you actually have to plant, and they will they hold you accountable to these things. Um, we don't know to what extent Correct. fully. I mean, so far it's been kind of relaxed, but we don't know with this high tunnel what it's going to be like. So they, you can't just store store your stuff in it. You have to actually yeah. plant stuff in the ground. Yeah, like it's that. not for hay storage. It's definitely for improving the land and the soil and planting directly in the ground and expanding your garden and your growing seasons and all of these things. That's what it's for. It's bolstering food supply. Which is what we want yeah. to do. That's why why we've gone gone down this road. Right. It's erosion so. control and bolstering food supply and, and extending growing season. And it's the, the actually the volume to it is what gives it its longevity of extending, they call it the shoulder season. So spring and fall is where you extend your season really. 
and actually during the middle of the summer it's it can be a negative because it can get too hot in there so for us in our climate you know we're in, in northern Illinois uh, we can get away with planting in it for most of the year however someone south they might actually have to get into taking off the outside cover and putting a shade cloth on we may or may not have to do that so we'll have to see we don't know yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be our first this even we won't even get a full planting season this year out of the hide because we're just setting it up right now but we'll get an extended one for sure but yes i'm hoping to do a full second planting but we'll see a little side note is that there are there are ways of getting like 50 percent of the money up front so you don't have to front as much of it right away was it 50 percent or a third it was 50 percent of the actual project that specific project okay so at any rate, there there's different ways that they can do certain things. They have they have a very strict protocol and parameter that they work within, but there is some different ways of going about that. So that creates a little bit of user friendly um, leniency. And a lot of the companies that carry the high tunnels actually offer financing. We didn't do that. We didn't have to go that route, but a lot of them do. They do. There's and so there's with interest and stuff. So you want to get it done yeah. quickly. Um, but that is an right. option. And there's a host of them the out cash. there. There's a lot of, I mean, you can literally buy all of the product raw and bend it yourself and all that stuff, which is really, <laughs> that's a crazy. We, we watched a video on a there guy are, doing there that. Are guys oh that my do it. goodness. And, and I'm, you know, uh, um, that's amazing. It's a, yeah, it'd be a process. We so. watched a guy do that. And I'm just, after yeah. what, how much, it was efficient and it went well today. Um, but I'm really thankful we, yeah. we did not go that, and there that is, route. And there is one or two other ones out there that are even more complete or less pieces than, than this current one. But we ended up going with Farm Tech, which is a gross span company as well. So it's Farm Tech gross span. Um, they do a lot of high tunnel work. Um, they do ship things out on a semi truck and, and then deliver them to your property here. So, um, but there's other ones out there and I would just encourage people to research local because there are we would have done that if we could have. Yeah, we tried I, I can't, to do that. I don't want to. I don't want to throw uh, the company underneath the bus that we worked for. They were great. They 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 reached out and they they helped facilitate that. Yeah. But there are some local ones um, that have. They're a little more rigid. A little less. Uh, the the number of pieces is, are less, and um, so I would I would assume just by looking at this that the assembly of it would be maybe <laughs> slightly less. Uh, when you guys see. <laughs> The picture or the videos yeah. of what's inside the boxes um there's a lot of pieces hopefully you played with lincoln logs or an erector set um it's <laughs> or, not uh, bad yeah legos yeah. i mean just on a crate yeah. on a different scale more yeah. more lincoln logs and it seemed really overwhelming at first you know and josh worked really hard today but it it like got in a flow you know you kind of you troubleshoot a little bit and you figure out okay oh these go here these go here and then you just then it becomes a rhythm and you just do it and um and the directions probably are pretty good but they're <laughs> if they're, you they're, at them. they're pretty extensive <laughs> so like if you want if you're a person who wants to read through every direction it, it might help um i highly I like recommend pictures, doing that you know, you so. know. Uh, yeah, Marie was following Josh around today, helping him, and I was like, Marie, make him read the instructions, you know. <laughs> but we did come up with um, kind of like a pattern. So we, we laid it out. We, had, we started marking pieces because not every single piece is marked as thoroughly as you might want it to be. Um, yeah, like a couple are It would be marked. awesome if it was stamped on her or if it was written like in a Sharpie on her. But you end up writing your own kind of spec sheet out, and we end up drawing a diagram and writing certain measurements. So like... The trusses that we set up now with the supports, we know are 61 inches away from this point and are eight inches away from this point. So hopefully that adds the uni uniformity down the line as we yeah. do the process. So that's that's the gist of it. We When he went in for a meeting, he, got, he received paperwork, yeah. had to fill out the paperwork and submit the paperwork, and then right. some time passed. I don't remember how long. Yeah, actually we, we were fortunate enough because we actually had a, an entire NRCS team come out um, kind of, I think it was more of a convenience thing for them. Uh, there were quite a few different things that we had the option of putting in for. Um, and they came and watched the, the whole and, and property. pasture management. Well improvement, some right? Well, yeah, watering improvement. We uh, have not been improved for all these things yet. Fencing. But it's, it's, There's a lot in there. You we've know. put in for it. So we're hoping at some point down the road some of this I might. I think we would have to, I think we technically have to reapply for Do some of Do we have some things. of them yeah. expired or yeah, they kind whatever? Of like, laps up or whatever okay. so you know there's a lot of information out there the the best thing i could say is obviously someone could get hold of us but really 
specifically local to where you're at and your NRCS agent? Yeah, I'm sure there's other, I know there's other homesteaders out there that have qualified for it. Oh, yeah. And I mean, you could do a quick YouTube search as well and get the information on it. But connect with your people locally and they'll, they are the ones that'll be able to tell you, you know, what the next step is. But yeah, you fill out the paperwork, you submit it, you get approved. And then there's timelines like Josh already talked about. So you, and then if you're not gonna be able to make it within that timeline, um, some things we had no problem doing, but the high tunnel was a big project, required a lot of preparation and money. And um, you have to have all upfront, you know? So you have to have those things in order. Right. And uh, once those things are approved and you're, you know, you're doing things, like I said, we got an extension one, one or two times, I can't remember. Yeah, I think there's anyway, different things, yeah. But then you're then you're good to go. And now, you know, we're we're in the heat of it. So we're trying to quickly put it together. Um, we are currently at this point, like I said, I got the foundations done. That's not the right word. All the ground posts are installed, all the, the layout, the um, squaring up of the unit and all that stuff. So Yeah. It's but moving now, along. It's But we, now yeah. I feel like it's like once you figured out how to put together each support truss or whatever right. like okay it's it now we know how it goes and, and if you had like a tractor or something like that i mean you could use the forks lift it up there we're doing <laughs> we it, didn't we're do doing that with a ladder and a, you know a 16 year old and, and a 13 year old and ropes and, yeah. and uh and your mom yeah <laughs> you know so, like oh my goodness but we need to give it you know in all seriousness we need i i have to say thank you to dan over at daniel arms homestead there arms family homestead because he did take time um, he added to our confidence in going into it. Yeah, he and was willing to talk us through it. Someone who's been through it, who's yeah. done it, um, and just kind of said, go for it. And we, we put in for it, not knowing if it was going to happen or not. And Yeah, and we're thankful that it did, for sure. Um, and now, even though you know it's a lot of work up front, and we'll have to figure it all out. You know, this is yeah. new for us. I've never, I've never grown in a greenhouse. Our front porch kind of acted like a greenhouse this year with our seed starts because we had plastic had plastic all around it but right. so there's going to be a learning curve to it but I know Julianne is really excited about it and um, and now and we also need to figure out I want to figure out some uh, water catchment like rain catchment either off the pole barn or um, off the high tunnel itself off the high tunnel yeah. if you can I don't know I don't know yeah. how to do that but um, so that we can use that for watering uh, you know, our well struggles to keep up. Some people don't have that issue, but but ours does. We need to someday put that on the yeah. list of things to do and the dig small another well. $20,000 Yeah, <laughs> you know, down the road. So. That'll When the time comes, that we'll do that. But for now, we're trying to make our resources work how they work. So anyway, that's some information to get started in the process if you're interested in pursuing, you know, qualifying for these different things that are out there. And I hope this helped give you some direction and like a, a you know a launching pad a spot to figure out where to start. Um, do you have anything else to add? Jump in and go for it. Get get connected with your NRCS agent and and see what you can get qualified for. And call your friends and have them help you. Your yes. tall friends say come and help <laughs> us put up these trusses because like okay so I'm five foot and uh, so is Julianne. So so is Marie. And you know, then the other kids are younger, and we're like trying to put those things up. Our chance is is quite the challenge, but it's good, and I'm excited for it to all come together. And we'll show you guys the process as we go. Um, we're showing you the start to finish here with the high tunnel. So uh, stay tuned. Make sure and hit that subscribe button uh, so that you can be a part of our Heartway Farms family and not miss any of our videos that we're doing on this and other things. I mean, we're doing meat birds coming up. We've got a busy, yeah. <laughs> busy season ahead. We're doing, we're raising our meat bird chicks. We're going to process them out from start to finish. Um, and we're going to put it on on the channel here. Uh, we're, you know, all these things are coming up, building some rabbit, rabbit tractors. So, yeah, hit that subscribe button and share us with your friends and family, and we'll talk to you all soon.